Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, May the 21st, entitled 30, 60, 100. Now, this whole week, we've been looking at the parable of the sower and the seed, where good seed was sown, but in three different scenarios, it didn't produce what it should have. That fell on the path, the one that fell among the rocks and had no root, the one that fell in the thorns and its fruitfulness was choked out. But he said, in final, there is seed that will fall into good, receptive, healthy soil. The place that we make ready in our lives to trust God. And he goes, that seed, here he goes, he goes, for the seed falling on that good soil refers to the people who hear the word of God and understand it. They produce a crop yielding 160, 30 times what was sown. So in other words, if you take a handful of seed, it created bushels full of crops, way more than what was sown, over an abundance. And what he's saying there is when we, first of all, hear the word, understand what it says, and as we talked about yesterday, not do that prayer, Lord, I need this, and then immediately go right back to doubt and fear and go back to uh, a life of no expectancy. He says, when we are expectant, when we hear the word of God, we understand what it says, and we start looking for those things, life begins to change. 30, 60, 100 times what was started is now brought forth. I love the story of Elijah when he prays for rain and he sends a servant out and his servant goes out and he says there's not a cloud in the sky and it says he sent him out and said go look again and he starts praying again. He comes back and goes there's not a cloud in the sky. He goes then go look again and he prays again and he comes back and he goes there's nothing. There's not a cloud in the sky. He goes go back and look again. He starts praying again. Finally the servant comes back after multiple times going, there's a cloud, but it's tiny. It's no bigger than a man's hand. And Elijah stands up and goes, there is an abundance of rain. He knew that God had bigger plans for him than he could believe for himself. And he kept saying, even if I don't see it yet, go look again. I know that God's plans are larger than I can hope for. I'm going to believe for what God chooses to do in my life. In Ephesians 3.20, it says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than you can ask or even imagine, according to his power that is working within us. God wants to do great things. It said in the town of Nazareth, when he went to his hometown, it said he wasn't able to do many miracles because of the people's lack of faith. If we want to see God do big things in our life, we have to believe for big things. Even if we don't see them yet, we go, go look again, go look again. God is able to do immeasurably more. We will not see great things unless we believe God for great things. We won't see them even when they are approaching because we don't have eyes to see what God is doing because we're limited by our lack of vision, our lack of trust. You don't have to have faith that can move mountains. He said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, it can affect great change. You've just got to be looking for it. So let's pray. Father, Lord, I know in every one of our lives, you want to do immeasurably more than we could even hope or imagine that has ever entered into our head. You want to produce 30, 60, 100 times what was actually sown. You delight to do this, but we have to trust you. We have to be looking for it. We have to be expectant. We have to say, go look again. Go look again. God, let that be the life that we live so that we see the abundance that you desire to give in wisdom, in blessing, in uh, service, in gift. Lord, in every area that we excel because the word of God is living in us. Do it in and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Go, look, be expectant. I'll see you tomorrow.